And when you've gone to a show before COVID-19, you probably sat like this, nearly shoulder to shoulder. Now managers are looking at spacing people out. More like this, social distancing six feet apart. In 2015, city officials wanted to know what the demand would look like to live in downtown Kalamazoo come 2020. Fast forward five years, the results are in and here's how they stack up. The study looks at four areas that make up the city of Kalamazoo, the Vine neighborhood, Portage Street corridor, the heart of downtown and the north side. We collected 15 samples, each getting its own single use flu testing kit. When we met with Erin Powers at her Portage apartment, we sat on the floor. That's because she doesn't have furniture. She can't afford it. There are a lot of nights I have spent crying myself to sleep. <laughs> what are very gratefully non-life-threatening injuries. Okay, now we're seeing... Hey, come back to us, come back to us. Yes, to us. Hannah, tell us what's going on. So it looks like some people just threw some bottles in the air. We're seeing some explosions. People are running. Heads up, it's going to look a little different than what you're used to. Instead of sitting next to someone like this, you'll be sitting more spaced out like this. And you'll be required to wear one of these. You'll have your time ticket ready, your face mask on, and you'll come right through these doors. Step on a square and wait for a quick health screening. Hello, welcome to the Kalamazoo Institute of Art. Usually this parking lot is filled with hundreds of cars every Sunday. Now all traffic is being directed to Facebook lives where thousands of viewers are worshiping virtually. If we zoom in on Kalamazoo County, we see the current risk level is 47%. A struggle that's flipping their lives upside down. Honestly, I wish it was pre COVID. I had a really good structure. They went to the before and after school programs that the district offered. 34% of children ages 0 to 17 in Kalamazoo households are represented by single parent families. Now in Calhoun County, where the Mitchell family lives, 41% of households only have one parent. The snow that's coming down, Jeff mentioned it looks like a snow globe out here. On our way to Bangor from Kalamazoo, we really saw that snow better and worse in patches. Hi, my name is Hannah Knowles. I'm trying to get a COVID-19 test. Call after call, internet searches and drive-bys. This just a snippet of the work I did to try to get a COVID-19 test. Do you have to have an appointment for that one? If someone could please give me a call back so no one else can sure. get a test. According to the state's coronavirus test website, within 25 miles of Kalamazoo, there's 18 places people can get tested for COVID-19. 13 of those locations do not require a doctor's note, and only five of them are free in cost to the public. We drove around to four of those testing sites in the Kalamazoo area, two a drive through option, the others by appointment only. After calling each location to see if I could get a test, I was sent online to fill out multiple registrations. Pretty easy too for their drive through testing. For the drive through locations, both KMED Pharmacy and OptiMed Health Partners had next day availability. All right, thank you so much. I also tried calling our main Kalamazoo hospitals. Bronson sent me to their website. Ascension Borges says they're only doing tests for those in need of surgery. Just like my journey, Kim Brady and Gail Green both hit roadblocks. I called the staff up Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Like I called uh, urgent cares. I called hospitals. I looked online. They gave me a COVID uh, hot, like a hotline number. And um, that took a long time, 45 minutes or so to get through to somebody. We were at the emergency room for over four hours with a lot of sick people and no social distancing. Brady's symptoms started showing on November 3rd. After that, it took her over a week to get an appointment. I called, I called every hospital in town and was like, I need help. My chest was like hurting so bad. I was having trouble breathing. So then I got online. Me and my cousin got online and we were just like searching everywhere to get tested quickly. Like in every single place was like a four day wait. As for Green, her test was for her 85 year old mother. She has COPD and asthma. She's diabetic. She has three stents. Green says her mom never would have figured out how to get checked without her help. Nobody seemed to know the answers about where you could get a rapid test and the patients coming in need more assistance and they're, they're, the system is failing. 